Alright, YouTube. I have it bumped to a dock and so long. I got my doors open and everything. I'll fix my tenders once I angle up with it. That's pretty much what I like to do. I like to get to the spot first and then fix my tandems. I know that sound weird, but it just makes the turns a lot easier. But it looks like these ducks don't got lines. Uh, so this might be a little tricky, it might not. Uh, I'm not really sure. 130. All right. So I got a lot of room in front, which is always a good thing. And then I see that Creek Carrier truck behind me. So I'm gonna let him go past as I pull up. Look at that guy feet, you guys. Then I'm gonna go out. So I can get my 45 going. All right. Then I'm gonna go out some more left. And a good thing about having a lot of front space up here, I could go back up a little bit more than what I genuinely need to. All right. Look like we straight. Put that little half turn right in there. And let's watch what we got. Get that turn in there. A little bit, you know, start putting a little left in it. Cause I see it start angling just so I can make sure I don't hit this guy truck. All right, now some more right. All right, let's start angling. Some more right. Now I'll put some more left in it. I need some more right. Now a little bit more left in there. And then, I feel like I'm straight lined up. I feel like I'm lined up with a little perfect, actually. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, maybe go over just a little bit more. All right, now what we gonna do is, we gonna pull up a little bit, cause I really can't see the little black spot over here, which I can't, so. Since I can't see it, I'm gonna go to the right just a little bit. When you can't see what you want to see no more, you turn towards it. That's what I was taught in trucking school. So, boom. All right. Now I got that back. So, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix my tandems. I'm gonna move them back. And then as I move back, I'm pretty much just going to just coast back this way a little bit, then start putting my left in it. But, so you guys know, that's why I do my tandems last, cause now I got all the angles and stuff that I need out for the most part out. Cause you know it's harder to turn your trailer. When your tandems to the back, they react a lot harder. So, you know, you have to put a little bit more stuff it a little ump in there so if i did it this way I, I should be good all right a little bit more tap on it a little bit more there we go feel the tug wow ain't gonna lie y'all summertime in the truck it's high. I don't know how people get that fuel solution. I said fuel solution, fuel, fuel bonus. Cause man, when you come to places like Phoenix and stuff, bro, you almost certainly for sure gotta idle. I try not to idle as much. I idle for a little bit. I try to idle 10 minutes at a time or something. Then if it get unbearable, bring it back. You know, I try to so I can get that extra money, but man, is it worth killing yourself? I don't know. So I'm gonna do put a little right in there just to get my truck over to the left a little bit more, some more. And then now 
start bending it left. And then now that I see I'm over here, uh, a little bit more left. Ah, I might have to do that again. Nah, nope, no, 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 I won't. Maybe, hold on, let's see. Hold that left a little bit. It's a chalk right here. I gotta get out and get that chalk. Uh, cause if not, it's gonna be in my way. And I guess I could, oh, I do need to move over a little bit. I do need to move over just a little bit. Yeah, I see it. Hold that left hand as I'm going back. Four quarter a little bit just give me more room to correct and get back under it that's what I would do why not make my life easier Actually, think this perfect. Keep going back some more. I just hate that I can't really see it on this side, but I feel perfect as hell. Like, I, I feel completely narrow to it. Like, straight to it, across it. This one do cigarette with his window. Oh, okay, I was like, there we go. I felt the bump, but it's to the trailer. Let's make sure we all the way in. Yeah, I can tell I'm a little far over right here, but for the most part, it should be good. For the most part, it should be good though. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, for the, yep, I'm locked in, but I have both of Yeah, I could have definitely moved over a little bit. For the most part, I'm good though. Yeah, because he did the same thing. Uh, I got you. Oh, they haven't even started. I know they finished on him. He just chilling. Uh, but otherwise, YouTube, just want to show you all that. Peace. What's good, YouTube? Your boy, Jacob Bank, and, and your boy, been rolling. I don't care. Okay, started in California. I'm already in El Paso, Texas two days later because what i drove for i drove i picked up the load and finished in palm springs cali then i got the load from palm springs stopped in benton arizona now i'm at el pasco texas but why nobody told me el pasco texas is this huge you know i only been on armo armoreto or armello uh texas on i-40 coming through to come to cali and phoenix um go through new mexico but i ain't gonna lie el paso it's like a, it'll remind me like a flatter New Mexico, but like it's huge. Like, I feel like I've been to El Paso for a minute. I'm used to flying, getting through cities quick, but like, it's huge, dude. And I, I'm just glad I get to see Texas, like really, really Texas. I'm finna get to see San Antonio, Houston. So I'm getting to see a little bit more Texas instead of just the top bar. I'm actually getting to see the cities that people talk about. Uh, so that's pretty cool, but bro, El Paso is huge like 
huge. It is right by New Mexico. If that's crazy though, like it's huge. Like, hey, I'm still driving through El Paso. I'm used to being on the interstate and just flying through some cities. You know what I mean? But like, I'm still in El Paso. It's huge. I don't know, man. Uh, but yeah, it's <laughs> it reminds me of like um Arizona, New Mexico mix like the closeness and the flatness is Arizona but like the house styles and you can see like the little mountains a little bit at the back give you that New Mexico vibe like that Albuquerque vibe or whatever um but yeah I know they people told me Albuquerque was dirty I don't know if El Paso is dirty obviously I'm not getting it out and I got about four more hours to drive so I, I'm 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 dashing through here I'll probably get close to San Antonio or Farley Pass I'm not really sure how many hours are close and I won't uh, see how many miles I'm away from until the interstate condensed down and I'm kind of like out the city limits but we're gonna tell you what's so crazy every state that I pretty much go to interstates wrap around they got multiple except from Nashville to the sea where I'm from and live I just I, we don't have like this infrastructure with the interstates. It's crazy. Like our interstates don't, you know, none don't go across each other or nothing. Like you don't see three, four of them looping around. But everywhere else I go, even Ohio, places like you, I feel like Tennessee is more popular than Ohio outside of Ohio State. But other than that, I think people, I feel like people would prefer to live in Tennessee than Ohio. But I could be wrong. Maybe I'm just biased. But yeah, um, yeah, Texas is huge, bro. No cap. And like in Tennessee, the most lanes you'll ever see is what? Three and then maybe four or five when you first get on I-65. That's what, what, two? It's like four or five, but it don't last long. Like you drive I-65, the minute you get by either Clarksville or like Trinity Lane going that way, it immediately condensed down like the three like these lanes be three four five for a while like like you go for a while and they be open up and then you got people like this in this van like you all the way in the middle lane the speed limit is 60 you're going 54 i think stuff like that is crazy to me like what the heck like, bro, just get over. Don't go slower than everybody else. And then, but you know what I'm saying? Like, that's pointless. You're going slower than everybody else. But all the way over here. I wanted to get over towards the right, but it was a car in the way. And they wasn't, they basically wasn't allowing me to get over. But you know how that go. Cars don't really let. Then look, now he go jump over. Like, that is crazy. Like, maybe, they, I don't know, man. Texas people drive like California, nigga, and, and that traffic ain't nowhere near Cali. At least in El Paso. I don't know about other places, because I don't heard your stories about uh, Houston traffic before, I believe, but I don't know if it's that L.A. traffic. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he driving like L.A. Look, he cut over at, to get in this lane and go 55. This is crazy. i never seen that before. That is crazy to get in the left lane and go that slow. Like, I was just trying to get, I was just trying to get past him and get back over, you know? Like, I don't want to be in the left lane. I, I just want to drive, I'm just trying to drive safe and get away from everybody and stay in the safe lane by myself, you know? But yeah, El Paso is cool. Like, when I was going past, what is it, UTEP, University of Texas, El Paso, they had like the anchors on the side of the interstate and stuff or whatever. Never heard of that college or whatever to them, but the little decorations they got going on in Texas, like it's it's a vibe. Um, it give me the look. Uh, if you ever been to Oklahoma, Oklahoma has those uh, like Oklahoma has those like different things on the interstate or whatever when you go through like Tulsa, Oklahoma City, cause outside of those two cities, hell, it ain't really much in Oklahoma. But but. And under me being an Oklahoma City Thunder fan and loves being created and started in Oklahoma, we go get Oklahoma they love because without Oklahoma, we wouldn't have these loves. You know what I'm saying? Gemini Company is a private company that's in started in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma that own the loves. If you ever look on the side of a love truck, 
any of you ever know about NBA, the Oklahoma City Thunder has a big love banner on their jersey for that reason. Shout out to that, you know what I'm saying? So that's just a fun fact for you guys to know. It's like this band is following me everywhere. We got I gotta get away from this guy. I don't know. It's like if I get over, he get over. If I get over, he get over. He just <laughs> I don't know if he's like teasing me or it's all in my head. Yeah, man, what's some good places to eat in um Houston, you guys? By the way, I'm vegetarian now. So I, I'm not eating any meat. So drop some 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 good vegetarian restaurants out this mud, you know what I'm saying? Drop some I ain't gonna lie, El Paso cool. I might be I need to look at some real estate out here. Look like I got a lot of people. And it's not Houston, San Antonio, Dallas, so it's probably not that high. And I always hear Texas got good property uh, taxes or whatever. So, I don't know. I might need to look into it. Too. It might be a vibe. But this is crazy. We're still in El Paso. <laughs> El Paso, bro, is huge, bro. This is crazy. It is over like my GPS or whatever you can see. It make it look like it's small or whatever. Like, um, like if it's a bigger city, when you get into the city or whatever. It expands, so like you get to see it if it's a bigger city. If it's a small city, stay like that, like you just fly through it or whatever. But like, I bet, like, bro, this is crazy. I feel like this was about the size of Nashville, or probably even bigger. I'm just trying to cruise and get through here. I'm saying I'm just happy to be here, man. And good old Tex, Texas, Texas, Texas. I got a lot going on, but how everybody been going, doing uh, far as their journeys on getting into trucking, been trucking, how long you been trucking, what have you been thinking about trucking, what's your plan on getting out of trucking if you're trying to get out, or is this something like you trying to work 25, 30, 30 years, max out your 401k, retire, live off that? situation because people do that or whatever else you do you know if you guys are not trucking and watching a video what are you guys doing out there like i'd be curious to think like because i feel like i'm a little self-centered because i'd be so into my own life and focus on my own life and my goals like i'd be in my bubble and i stay to myself and obviously i'm majority of the time now i'm by myself because i'm on the road but even before that i used to stay by myself that's the reason why trucking life style don't bother me too much but i'm just curious of what you guys um are, is doing out here you know what type of jobs you got what are you looking for what do you go okay coca-cola my largest stock in my portfolio coca-cola ko ah, big dividend fan company i love seeing stocks that i own whataburger if you like whataburger i ain't gonna lie they're tr not trash to me they're mid just what I'm saying. Just like in and out when I was eating meat, I tried both of them. They're mid to me. Raising Cane's mid to me. Like a lot of these restaurants that's West Coast or whatever, that uh, South, whatever you want to call them, they're not really jumping like how y'all try to make them. I don't know if things change, but yeah, I just don't see the vibe. Me personally, I don't. Uh, yeah, like. If you ever had Colobus, I feel like Colobus is one of the top restaurants. Obviously, I'd probably say Chick-fil-A because I'm a big, huge Chick-fil-A fan. Like, I really wish they wasn't privately owned. I wish they had stock because, like, I would probably buy a, a ton of stocks in Chick-fil-A. No cap whatsoever. Like, bro. But, yeah, like, what's y'all top fast food restaurant? One of my friends told me Wendy's was the number one best fast food. And I... I almost had a heart attack. I said, Wendy's? Wendy's is trash. Outside of they lemonade and spicy nuggets and other places are getting spicy nuggets now. Who eats at Wendy's? You know what I mean? Like, I was like, what in the world is going on? Peter Piper Pizza. What the heck is that? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Check them out all day. Peter Piper Pizza. Okay. See, bro, I'm still at this. This city is huge. Bro, this is crazy. And I think we have a terminal here. Well, obviously, I'm, I'm still driving, so I see it. But this city is freaking huge. I guess all the cities in Texas is huge. 
And I bet they probably, I'll finish say seafood, but I'm at the top part of Texas. Probably got a seafood, probably when I get closer to that. But I can't believe I-10 go, go, uh, it goes this far. Uh, but then now that I think about it, I slick think it even goes, yeah, kind of go far. I think you can cut through Louisiana and stuff with it on I-10, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but it's pretty cool. I like getting on different interstates and riding them along, learning different things like I-40. Starts in Cali, it ends in North Carolina. Literally, you could drive I 40 from um, I forgot where it started in Cali. You can literally drive it through Nashville, which is so hey, YouTube. It's your boy Christian Man Trucks and checking back in. And right now, I'm at the Guitar Center Distribution Center here. And um, I, man, pardon me if I say it wrong, Raloto, California. Uh, and this load is going to uh, Humble, Texas, so 20 minutes outside of Houston. Uh, so, if you ask me, this is a pretty good load. Um, it said 124, but either I'm tripping or what? got over here okay i was like <laughs> i'm looking like what the hell is 124 they say 124 it's just 24 that is the worst instructions you can give somebody then that got my trailer right there all the way at the end but now i'm finna do a little yui and it's a good trailer too i'm happy for that i can't wait to check it out and make sure it's over good uh but yeah i was like I'm looking, thinking, cause they say keep the doors open. So I'm like, damn, this gotta be a, uh, going into the, uh, the door. I'm thinking I'm putting it into the dock cause it say keep the doors open. And I count 27, 26, 25, 24 right here. I ain't got that much space that I want, but I think I can, I think for the most part, we can make, make what we got work for the most part. For the most part, we can make this sort. We should be able to anyways. Go out a little bit to the right. Then boom. Go in and out a little more to the left. And then since I don't got that much room up front, I'ma just go out a little further to the left. That's usually the trick that I get it. Dang, I wish I was getting that A7, but can't always get what you want. I probably need to do a little. Ooh, no. Uh, uh, uh. I'm going to come back what I got, and I'm going to go out a little bit more straight. Hold on. Yeah, I didn't get this out far enough. Come this way. All right. Now, this going to be a little tricky. Do a little turn in it. Then let it go and start letting it ease back a little bit more. Oh, I probably need a lot more. So let me, there we go. Pay attention to this way. A little bit more right. A little bit more right. I hate to have to jackknife, but it look like I'm had to almost jackknife. All right, now start lifting the hell out of it. I'm sorry, you guys, that I'm talking to myself, but I guess too much. I ain't really talking to myself because I'm talking to y'all. Now, here's the tricky part. I got to go up a little bit. Some more, right? So pretty much my trailer go walk itself all the way back. I just got to make sure I can get around this trailer. Then now, I need some more right. Yeah, a lot more left. And that should do the trick. A little bit more right just to be safe. And bam, there we go. Look at that. Whew. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, I can fix it though. Come back up. Go left a little bit. Go right a little bit. And then just hold the left going back. 
and that should have it looking a lot better than what I just had at first. I always like to, I don't know, it's a, I, it's a force of habit of uh, kind of like being straight with the line a little bit. It's the, I don't like really being crooked. I feel like that make it harder on the next driver or whatever. I don't know. I'll be thinking like that. And I never really want to make it hard on the next guy. In my opinion, anyways. Oh, I'll go back some more. It'll be a little crooked. I need to go back some more. See what I mean? Because like here, yeah, it looked like I was a crooked. Apparently I am. I didn't give it some all right. We should be Gucci. Yeah, but see, I don't feel like I went too far back because this was sticking out. There we go. That should be a lot better. Yeah, that's a lot better. So now, YouTube, we're gonna drop this trailer, get the new trailer, check the new trailer out, make sure the lights working, the brakes good. Then we're gonna get on up out of here and get ready to head to Humble, Texas. Outside of Houston. I've been going coast to coast, you guys. I went from Nashville to Utah. Then I went all the way up from Utah to all the way bottom to, I think, Teleso. Was it Teleso? No, it was, um, I can never remember Chandler, Arizona. Then I went to Chandler to Teleso, Teleso to Apple Valley, California, then Apple Valley to here. Then I'm going to Humble, Texas. Then I'll probably go Texas somewhere to the East Coast. So I've been running and gunning, and that's pretty much me, Frank, 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 Frank. That's pretty much what I like to do. Like, I like to gun, bro. Like, I like to run and gun. More miles, more money. I don't like taking the 34, which some people don't recommend it. They feel like I could burn out quicker than that, but we here for a good time, not a long time. And what I mean by that is, I'm 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 not trying to truck for 20, 20, 25 years, which if that's what you want to do, that's fine. I'm here to get all my money, stack my bread, and put that money in real estate, get enough real estate and stocks to where the money that I was making out here replace that. Then now I could do something easier back at home to get extra money and keep, you know, try to build up on my operation. Uh, it's pretty much what I, it is my idea, you know what I'm saying? That's my plan. I got a plan, I plan on sticking to it. So, like I said, I don't plan on uh being out here for 25 plus years, 30 years, 33 years. I uh, couldn't be, I'll, I'll miss out too much of my son life. I feel like my fiance would want me home, it would cause problems, you know? That's what I personally feel like. All right, do I tug test? All right. Get ready to do our inspection on our trailer. So first thing first, we go to our little thing here, trailer pickup. You know, it's gonna tell me to put in my mileage. Then after I put in my mileage, I put in trailer number, which is 8510, right? Yeah. And then I just mark everything okay for the time being, even though I'm finna check it. So if something not okay, I just come back and, you know, fix it. I don't really enter. So boom, we go get this. Get our other glove. Let's get busy. Ooh, they got the axles up. That's one thing I hate coming to Cali. But one thing I do like about Cali is that 
the tandems will always be up and stuff due to their bridge law. So like, no matter where you go, when you go to some places, they're not gonna ask you to change your, uh, to put the tandems back, cause spoilers, they're gonna have to move it back. That light works. That light works. Uh, they're not gonna ask you to change your axles back, cause it's spoilers, cause they have to fix it because they bridge law and they, you know, Cali DLT is so strict. Uh, so yeah. That's one thing I can say I do like about Cali. So, some of your loads, like, they don't really, they be heavy, but not too much heavy. And the axles will already be done for you because they got to axle it out. Because if it, you can't axle out the weight while it's at that bridge law at least, then basically the load will be illegal coming out of Cali. Like, so, like, it, you, you just can't. Where you, other states, you can do that. So, It'll be chances. Nobody go chance that. Cause like I said, Cali DLT is crazy. Like they're not, they don't play. Like they plays no game. That lights working, DLT tape is. Oh, okay. We got the air rise, uh, bridges, bulges, nothing on there. It looks good. Let me get under here. Oh, sorry guys. I ran right into that. I tried to check these brake pads and these drums. And these slack adjusters on here we got especially a lot of mounts to go on so i just wanted to make sure all of the brakes was good mud flap mud flap light there i got a seal on that light light boom license plate light dlt bumper is okay dlt tape visible no abrasions bulges or cuts on here i already checked the brakes mud flap that light is working we are in good standing, baby. That's what I'm talking about, a good trailer. Let's get this cut and rolling. So now I'm finna get ready to get my load going, you guys. I will see you guys in a gym. Let's get out of Cali, peace. What's good, YouTube? Checking back in. Right now we in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, it's about 7.33 in the morning. I've been driving for about four and a half hours. I got over two. 40 something and did my pre-trip so i've been dri uh, been driving like five something four and a half hours or whatever um san antonio has way more traffic than i expected especially at 7 34. um i i wish i would have got up like maybe an hour earlier maybe uh and that would put me here at six and maybe that would have killed some of this traffic uh, I try to get up early as possible so I can have a lot of smooth ride. For the most part, on the way here, though, it was, like, smooth sailing. Like, they don't really... I don't know if it's because... I was going to say it's because Texas speed limit so high to 75 and 80, but, like, New Mexico and Arizona is like that. And Utah. I feel like, well, I take it back. Between, it seems like when you're driving through Texas and Utah, you don't really see that many people. I'm not sure if it's because of certain interstates. Because when you're riding through New Mexico and Arizona, whether it's I-10 or I-40, you see a lot of other cars and trucks on those interstates. Uh, not sure why. Maybe those are just major highways for freight and living situation. But yeah, you don't really see any traffic. This is the first I see traffic today. Shoot, I didn't even really see no traffic yesterday when I was driving. I went. I'm guessing El Paso is not as big as San Antonio, which I'm guessing so, because remember what I was telling y'all, it zooms in when you're in like a big city, it show you everywhere, like this zoomed in on, on San Antonio. Um, so yeah, I guess that's why. Uh, but yeah, shout out to San Antonio, y'all. If y'all watch, you know, love NBA like I do, like I said, I love basketball. You know, they won the lottery, so they, you know, if you're from the city of San Antonio, basketball season finna be hype for y'all man y'all finna have 50 women y'all you know what i'm saying let's see how that go another big man to add to y'all big men collection era from dennis or i would say dennis robinson from tim duncan and david robinson my apologies i almost said dennis <laughs> my apologies to the basketball god and then and david robinson for sure but yeah uh san antonio has a ton of construction a ton, a ton, a ton of construction. But overall, Texas have a ton of construction. Like, a lot. Like, I was rolling through here the other day. I Yesterday, I forgot where I was at. And I was on the interstate, and it was one lane for about 20, 30 miles. Uh, and it was in the middle of nowhere. So, yeah, Texas have a lot of construction. Not as much as Indiana. 
at least for the most part that I've seen. Not as much as Indiana, but they have a lot. Cause Lord, I hate going to Indiana. Cause boy, 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 that traffic gives me a headache. Uh, I can't wait to stop at a, a diesel spot so I can clean this freaking uh glass. Hey, I'm on my way to Houston because it's Humble, Texas, that I'm going to. It's supposed to be right outside of Houston. I need a good idea of where to park the truck at, man. Um, cause I'm I'm pretty sure that's one of the reasons why also why I got up extra early. Usually I get up at four. So I was like, let me get up extra early since I'm gonna be going to Houston. Usually those bigger cities like that, even with the truck stops that got the loves of pilot, they usually fill up extremely, extremely fast. Then it being Friday, I don't take 34 resets. I like to drive every day, so I try to drive eight to nine hours so I can work off recaps. But it's other drivers who I know drive through their clock and they like to take their 34 on the weekend. So it's been a Friday and been in a major city. I'm like, I got to get there as early as possible because we have a terminal in Katy, Texas, but that's not going to help me as much because uh, my fiance mom uh, lives in Houston. That's originally where her mom's is from. So I'm trying to go out to dinner with her obviously i'm in a truck so i don't want her to have to drive far to get me in an uber to take try to take me far or whatever so it, the closest i get is better and then i'll be able to when i get done eating with her i'm able to drop this my plan is to drop this and then maybe drive back to our kdr or wait till saturday i'm gonna talk to my driving manager to see what they're talking about and we'll kind of go from there pretty much hopefully they got me another load because i'm here they had me until saturday but like i told them bro i'm gonna be there friday morning for sure he gave me saturday anyways so i don't blame him but like bro i'm not gonna be late i'm gonna make sure i'm gonna be on time for sure but yeah they got a ton of construction man this is weird i'm trying to just follow the traffic keep my four seconds distance it's kind of hard but i guess it is with this construction i know it probably wouldn't even be as bad as it is because of the structure because it's not even eight or nine o'clock yet so it's either people getting to work early because due to the construction they know that you know what i mean so that's that's kind of what i'm thinking and what my plan is and i think the loop that i'm on or whatever goes around san antonio instead of me going straight through you know a lot of uh, states have those like if you ever been in Nashville, we got 440 and Briley Parkway Which goes around Nashville. So instead of you driving straight through, through all traffic It's a quicker way to get you around and get you out. So Yeah, it's kind of like Atlanta, but we don't even talk about that. I didn't even I'm at the bottom of the south I'm like, oh I'm a little nervous. So I'm gonna get sent next. You know what I mean? I'm nervous. I'm like man if Georgia on that lip, I might cry. You know what I mean? But we gonna see uh, but yeah, I'll check back in with you guys either where I'm at the diesel spot or when I'm dropping this load. In other words, see you guys soon. What's good, YouTube? So I'm at a night port yard. I had to pick up this trailer for this load I got. I hate that I'm going to be stuck with this old trailer. It's a 68467. Hopefully it's good, but let me tell you something. Dude, it was so hard to find this yard. The GPS kept find the road. My Google Maps couldn't find the road. Like it just drops you off right here. You have to go around. And I don't know if y'all ever been to the port yard. I haven't. Port yards are not organized. From at least these, whatever they got going over. I was all the way down there over there on the other side of it with the tankers. And I'm like, this can't be it. And I, I'm like, what the heck? I have to come all the way back. And the crazy part is. I have to turn towards a road. Um, let me cut my utility light off. I have to turn towards a road um, that basically um, said no trucks was allowed. So I, when I first got off, I didn't know to turn that way. Cause I'm like, I'm like, nah, this can't be it. it it's, it can't be that way. It say no trucks allowed, you know. So I didn't, I wouldn't, I didn't go that way. Cause no trucks allowed. I gotta go up a little bit. I'm not uh all the way over. But yeah, it said no trucks allowed. So I'm like, I'm not finna go down that road. I don't wanna go down that truck. And look, the last place didn't have a trailer, right? So 
I didn't take a trailer and I was like, ah, but it's cool since I'm going to the port yard. But it's like, it's almost meant because this rows and stuff I had to go on or whatever, completely tight, completely tight. Then the guy, whoever freaking, um, did relay the load, didn't do, relay the load all the way. So now it's making my job hard. It's just a lot, bro. Um, Cause basically it's like five o'clock in the morning. Cause like I said, I like to get up and going and I'm just in Houston. So I like to get up, beat all the traffic. Um, it's five o'clock in the morning. I got up, dropped the first load off road to La Porta, Texas here to pick up this load. And this is going to Louisiana. And the problem is I know what trailer is and I got this part down packed, but it's like no way for me to um to, to do the other parts because technically I'm not supposed to have this trailer like cause it's still attached to somebody else's truck and they dropped this basically on Thursday. Uh, they picked this up Thursday. So if they pick this up Thursday, today is Saturday. I, I'm assuming because it was closed, this person was probably local. So if they were local, nine out of 10, they work Monday through Friday. Meaning they're off work. So that means I'm gonna have to hope when my team get in, cause we got after hours, but it's only so much after hours can do. They can take care of your bank and stuff, send your preacher, your low, your fuel solution, tell you what empty at that's in like 50 mile radius, but they don't really have that much jurisdiction like your driving manager and stuff do oh this had to be a great day so i pretty much i'm gonna have to wait so i'm debating if i should start driving that way or wait because this low has to be it's a live unload at 9 p.m today granted where i'm going is only Dang, this thing is stuck. And I know the load out here because the load only 20,000 pounds. Um, it's only six hours away. But I like to get places early. So if anything happen, I, I bought myself time. Whew. I'm getting to work. And it's like 90 degrees right now at five o'clock in the morning that's so crazy to me but i still probably i don't i really truck in the spring maybe nah because in the summer i don't have to worry about rain even though it's super hot oh my god this thing is stuck. It's a great day, so I know it's stuck. <clears throat> and it's like you gotta. Hopefully, I did that one right. No. Maybe it's just an old trailer. There we go. Nope, it's just so. Oh, it's one of these dub D40. I'm convinced. They just wanted me to get a workout this morning. Cause. And this mug can't even go down. Damn. Okay. Yeah, that. Woo. All right. Now, try to make sure our tire's good. I just touched it, but damn. I 
I gonna have to roll a little bit to check that one. It's in a bad spot. That one was good. That was good too. Oh, I don't think this one has one. There you go. I should have had my thing, my light on, so I could see. Lights working, lights working. Let me check the other side. Oh. Woo wee! Talk about a run for your money. Look at that port yard, tiny. A lot of these port ribs. But woo! I'm glad these tires good. I need to check these brakes. Um, cause this is an old tra trailer. I definitely need to check these brakes. Oh, I don't know about that. Let me see about this. I ain't gonna lie, for it to be an old trailer, these tires is definitely flated. Hold on. Like, look at that. That's crazy. I don't know if it's because it's so hot out here. And that's the case, because... I ain't gonna lie, this might be a world record. On all flated ties to where it's supposed to be. That light working. That light working. Them light working. Boom. All the lights working. Oh, brakes. And the brakes good. Damn. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. For the most part, I'm impressed for this trailer. Ah. All right, you guys. Uh, let me. I'll check back in with you guys once I figure out what the hell I'm gonna do. I gotta call dispatch and see. Peace.